Lord Banks FX. Lord Banks FX welcomes you to this live stream of live forex trading. A whole three hours of news. We begin with that wild ride on Wall Street. You're seeing new record highs on the S and P and Nasdaq. Interviews. Some will make money, some will lose money, but that's just the way the market always works. Analysis and live trades. So sit back, lock in, and load up your trading terminals, and let's get this rocket to blast off. Introducing your host, Lord Banks FX. Prepare for launch in three, two, one. Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome, welcome back to Lord Banks FX. I'm your host, Lord Banks. Hella late, hella late, hella late. Uh, but I'm here. I made it. Uh, my my computer is just. I don't know what the hell's going on, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to jump right into it, guys, because we're already kind of late. It's uh, 1.13 a.m. we got about 45 minutes before London Open. We're already in pre-market. And, uh, yeah, so let's get into it. Let's get into it. Top-down analysis on GJ. Let's check it out. Brand new month, guys. Previous month closed bearish. Broke the lows. Um, you know, I think we may come down to either fill these wicks or, or test these levels down here. So let's look at the weekly, looking at the weekly, you know, we got this, I mean, it's an overall downtrend here, but it's ugly price action with the wicks. So, uh, previous week here, close bearish. Um, we still got about a day and 15 minutes left on this weekly candle. Um, could feel these wicks or test this level down here around 158.41. Let's look at the daily yesterday. Yesterday we did close bearish. Broke these lows. Um, it did pull back though. Kind of respected this area. <clears throat> We're already pushing down. We already have a wick to the top. So maybe we continue to fill this wick and maybe test this level down here around 160.678 looking at the four hour gonna establish my zones real quick real quick I'm trying to go a little fast here guys so bear with me I know I'm late apologies for that Right on the one hour. Yeah, I'm a little late, guys, because um, there was a storm and my power went out. And when I got my computer back on, damn, this fucking thing is breaking right now. It is breaking right now, but there's no wick to the top. Probably filling this, this wick right here. From here, we got... Level down here. This is going to be better off right there. Well, no. I like it there. Clean price action to the downside. Clean price action here. I'll put it at the bottom of this wick. To the upside, let's see. No, right there. Got a nice little move right there. Um, this is a brand new candle. I mean, it's 12 minutes in. The previous candle wouldn't have been the one. Um, so we may jump in on this one. Let's see how this plays out. Jesus, all my fucking MetaTrader 4s are not loaded. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Bro, if we break that, this thing is fucking flying. I mean, we have stop work right here well it's it's too many already anyways 
<clears throat> just gonna focus right here on these three. There's like ten minutes left here on the this candle. This is GJ. Can you guys hear me okay? <clears throat> nice and loud. Nice and loud. I just want to make sure that you guys can hear me okay. Yes, morning, morning. Good morning from Norway. Good morning, good morning. What's good? Sunny, FX Bounty Hunter, CJ, what's good? Sebastian. We got about 11 minutes left on this candle. Jesus, she's melting. Wow. Let her pull back. Let her pull back. Let her pull back. <clears throat> all right, all right. I'm going to do gold real quick. Uh, we got about 10 minutes. Got about 10 minutes. I'm going to do gold real quick. Damn, CJ, what you got going on? <laughs> Let me hear these messages going. I'm rushing. <laughs> you Wi-Fi took a shit. Damn, you too, bro? Fuck. That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, uh, okay, gold, monthly, pushing down. Brand new candle, look at the previous monthly candle. We're in September, baby. There's no bottom wick. It didn't fill this wick. So, and it closed right there, li literally at this level of support. So we could be respecting this before we start to push up. I'd probably wait to see what, what, the, what this level is going to look like. And what this candle is going to start to develop like weekly, holding that level of support, daily, yesterday's daily candle, bearish, level of support here. It's going to be interesting to see what happens if it's going to reverse or stay there. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I mean, she is right there at that level. little push up there what is this what is this how many pips uh, about 19 pips Focus music on, put the focus music on. Gotta stay focused, gotta stay focused. Damn. Where the hell is the price action? Jesus. There it is. There it is. Alright, breaking below there. to the downside potentially a 42 first target 94 second and 173rd 
19 first, uh, 34 second, and 53 third. This is gold. Oh, wasn't somebody telling me they were working at, they work in tech or something? Like, I have a question. <laughs> so, like, um, what happened was the power went out. I have a backup battery. Um, that is supposed to last, like, 120 minutes or something like that well it only lasted like five minutes and then everything shut off and then didn't I put this on here what the hell oh I think I put it up so what's going on is like my I'm, I'm using the Wi-Fi right now and hopefully it doesn't lag or like mess up but um, when the power went out and everything shut off I turned my, my PC back on and now the Ethernet we got about four and a half minutes left here on this candle we might take a cell <clears throat> left so uh, the ethernet like device doesn't show up anymore like not in my device manager like not anywhere not in the um, network controls like the network sharing center the hardware stuff Does anyone know what the hell? This is why I don't like Windows, man. Seriously, like I really despise Windows. <laughs> all right, I'm all set up. I'm just gonna measure this out real quick just in case. That, that no wick makes me want to put it up here. Um, I mean, it's decent one to one, 1.25, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Now we got two and a half minutes left. Fuck, man, all of my MetaTraders are off, dude. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. This is going to take forever. I got like fucking 15 challenge accounts that I'm doing right now. Oh my god. <clears throat> Oh, 
All right. <clears throat> uh, we got a minute and a half left here, guys. Oh, man, this is tough, dude, honestly, to be honest. I don't think I want to get into this. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay out guys look there's no wick to the top look at the massive wick it's given to the bottom this just gives me um, like fake out vibes <laughs> so I don't I don't want to I just don't want to trade that maybe if we move it lower here below the wick we can have a better confirmation so I'm gonna change this to one six three three eight. Yeah, because that it just seem like it's gonna go down <clears throat> seems like it's pushing up I'm gonna look for um, a wick like a candle to close below here because of this wick right here if we can break that wick this wick that just got pushed down is not enough for me for the confirmation so I'm gonna wait for additional confirmation that's why I moved it down because although it is pushing down right now with the price action of the previous candle like we can see this thing push up easily and just fake us out so we definitely don't want that we do not want that okay uh, let me just double check gold real quick just to make sure that's good okay yeah yeah and I'll get alerted um, oh, let me send out these charts, guys. I'm sorry. So, sending out the chart to the free telegram. This is for GJ, GBP, JPY, the 15 minute chart. Boom, sent. And uh, send out the link to YouTube chat. Oh, alright. Now, sending out gold. Sending it out. Telegram. All right, and copy the link, send it out to the YouTube chat. Boom. Okay, <clears throat> let's go. Some comments. What up, Sunny? What up, CJ? Everybody doing good? Prince Mohan, we are waiting for live TikTok. I'm on. I'm on the TikTok, bro. It's on there. It's live. Got like 285 people on there. Um, we're just waiting here for the price action. Uh, let's see here. Awesome startup intro. Appreciate it, Sports King. It's been a while, Lord Banks. Man, I've been live this whole week. I mean, I was a little late yesterday and I was really late today, but I'm here. Um, hope y'all orange. What? Orange pilled as well. What? Hi, guys. Any active trade? No active trade, guys. We just got on. Hey, Cypher, what's good? Good morning from Norway. Uh, Nigel, yes. Tony says, perfect volume. Uh, Arch deep, nice and loud, brother. Awesome. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Good morning, Lord Banks. Good morning, William. Hello, September. Yes, sir. Brand new month. Brand new month, baby. Uh, USD JPY was a beauty today. I didn't. I don't trade USD JPY. Didn't even look at it. Morning, Dylan. Morning, morning. Uh, Sunny says massage music is a bit louder than you. <laughs> oh, is it really? Let me turn it down then. You know what I think it is actually? 
let me know if it's lower now like am I louder or is the music still loud <clears throat> it's because I have to try turn it down in uh, in OBS uh, Tenaki in the building tricky sometimes they quote the standby time only for the PC not when the screens are operating what? try a Cali pack I don't know what a Cali pack is do you still sell if there are no top wick no like tr customarily I do not like that you see look at the price action that would have been a fake out first of all this candle if I would have stayed up here this candle still wouldn't have closed below I wouldn't have got in there with that price action and if you got in all it did was wick and push back up look at it like that's that fake out I was telling you guys about that's why I said I'm moving my range it was right here I moved it down here to the bottom of this wick just to give me that additional confirmation that I feel I need because of the of the price action that it's it's displaying you know so hopefully that makes sense uh, did you try to do Windows restore settings? I mean, I, I, I didn't want to restore my whole PC. Um, so, no, I definitely did not. Um, 861.316 is a strong level. Might want to take note. Several SNR on the M15. Uh, are you talking about... Oh, oh sorry. <clears throat> 316, you're talking about this level right around here. Right around here. Yeah. Um, I'm comfortable with the 161338 because, you know, 316, 338, that area, it's just the 300 level. And I think if we push down below this wick here, then we will come and start testing the lower lows and potentially come and test this zone um, I feel pretty confident in it just because I also have the swing trade in GJ that I'm still in which is still looking lovely so um, I'm kind of biased on it because I'm already in a swing trade to the downside so I know that this was like a pullback right here and it's pushing down now so with market structure to continue we'd be looking to test lower lows right so lower than this and lower than this and that's what I'm looking for but at the same time don't get me wrong guys like if this thing pops up right here closes above and gives me an opportunity like I'll scout buy this up even though I'm in a swing trade sell right like I will scalp buy it up to these levels like I don't care it's it's just I'm not like in my swing trade that is ongoing right <clears throat> I hit TP1 so everyone should be at um, break even for that swing trade uh, close partials if you want break even whatever you want to do but it hit TP1 already uh, we're just being patient to see if it continues down for our TP2 and TP3 oh. <sighs> Sunny says, try right click bottom right corner near speaker icon, do troubleshoot, then select Ethernet adapter. Yeah, I, I did all that, bro. Um, <clears throat> like, I'm not completely compu computer illiterate. <laughs> I'm actually pretty good with computers. Um, but, like, the Ethernet adapter, you know, when you go into the network connections and you can see your wireless, um, like, adapter for your Wi-Fi and then if you have any VPNs or any switches set up or whatever or bridge connections you'll see it in there like I don't even see the Ethernet icon for my local area connection because like I like the wired connection just because um, I'm I'm like doing live stream so I don't like the lag and stuff and I want it to be quick so I usually use just the wired connection like right now I'm using Wi-Fi um, and I don't want to be using Wi-Fi. Man, this is a massive candle. Massive candle. Let's see what this 
that's looking like if it breaks up to the upside uh, 17 pips actually is not bad I probably just have it zoomed out it makes it look big but not bad not bad we might take a buy here guys well actually no hopefully it's not this candle because look the the one to one is is not there one to one would be literally right at the line and and it's because the wick is way down here so if we can get this candle to close just below and then the next candle be it and the wick is smaller then it would be a lot nicer you know so let's just wait to see what happens hopefully it's not this one we got about five and a half minutes but anyways um in that uh window for the network adapters i i don't see the ethernet adapter in there at all like and i reset my router my modem i connected it directly to my modem i reset my my computer i i restarted it like multiple times and nothing absolutely nothing windows gives you the option where you can restore your pc back to a couple of days back to the previous settings it was on bro you should try that yeah it's it, the only reason i didn't i didn't want to do all that is because like i have multiple windows open right now for like on like google chrome and projects and things that i'm working on and notes and stuff like that so i didn't want to like lose all that um even when i did the restart like i could just open it up and do um like open up my browsing history or whatever and open up the restore on the google chrome Ugh. Oh, excuse me um and it would you know open back up the the windows that i had so uh, but i'll probably like after the stream like do that or something because i mean i'm gonna have to figure out what what's wrong like to fix it it's crazy like i just got my laptop in too yesterday i haven't even opened it guys like i've been like i opted to take a nap <laughs> instead of opening it um, and then I couldn't like sleep because it was like hot and muggy because the power went out and the AC went out. And I was, oh man, it was just hell of a day, hell of a day, hell of a day. Yeah, or you can restore your settings using command prompt. Yeah, I, I did restore the settings using the command prompt. I know how to do all that. Um, <clears throat> yes, we expect London Open to have volume to break the support or resistance. Oh, you know what? Let me look, make sure what we got going on for news just in case here i mean we're good till new york unemployment claims usd ism 9 a.m 7 30 and 9 a.m we got usd news <clears throat> excuse me nice that's what i wanted to see it pull back um, because I don't want it to be this candle that breaks. I want it to be the next one. Just because of the, the size of the wick. It would ruin our Mr. Reward. Um, yes, man. Sending setups next week to you for, for review. Been busy this week. I, I did see the one you saw um, you sent. Um, but yeah, just keep sending them to me. Uh, we the Bangs. <laughs> uh, better now. Perfect sound. Awesome. Hey, LB... AUDJPY looks like it's about to swing also. Uh, yeah, the dollar index is falling in the search bar or in the in the run type command X name Microsoft dot network and sharing. Yeah, the network the network and sharing is the yeah, that's where I was in. <laughs> yeah, I was in the network and sharing. I'm talking about in that window where it should be it's not <laughs> you know um morning banks your ethernet adapter is either not installed or it needs an update yeah i can't update it because it doesn't even exist there like it's like like it's like as if that piece of hardware is not even being detected on my uh like in my computer because even in the dev device manager there's no errors and there's no like new hardware like it's like it doesn't even exist in my network adapters you know then you see in the change adapter says you can enable such to say yeah yeah i get it but the the icon isn't even there you know like you know where you click on to click enable or disable 
like it's not even there like the only thing that's there is the wi-fi one the, the wireless one <clears throat> probably shorted the ethernet port that's what i was thinking man because like i mean it was crazy it was like a huge thunderstorm and uh like there was like a loud pop and shit and i'm oh, man i'm i don't want to say it but i'm pretty sure that i probably like fried the um the ethernet like hardware part of it and it's not like it's not picking it up but everything else seems to be working fine you know um and plus like i have a surge protector with a battery backup so like when that happened oh you know what though like my router and my modem are not hooked up to the surge protector and router or in battery backup so whenever that happened, maybe the power through there surged into the PC, maybe. Man. <clears throat> uh, you can also see here. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. I'm liking AUD USD. Please resend screenshot of gold with the downside green rays included, not visible on previous telegram shot. Oh shit, my bad. Damn, dude, look at this. Look at fucking GJ. What are you? Damn, and she's closing there. Wow. No, I'm definitely not getting into that. That's fucking massive. Like, in order for this to be worth it for me, I would need it to come down, like, around here. If we get a push back here, because there's no wick, if we get a push back here, we could enter about two pips away watch it guys watch it guys that, that's going to be about a 16 pip risk calculate your risk 16 pip risk 16 pip risk and we're like one pip away guys all right guys i'm going to enter a buy i'm going to enter a buy guys 16 pip risk gj I'm entering by I am in and I'm putting my stops below this previous wick I am in I got in here actually what was my entry here it was five two two okay and we got a 16.6 .6 pip stop so that's going to be that entry point. Oh, don't melt on me, baby. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Literally right here. That's TP1. We're in buys, guys. We are in buys. Active buy on GJ. Currently up about two pips. Currently up about two pips. See how we got that sniper entry? You guys know why I did it like that, right? Does it make sense? So the reason I, I like allowed it to pull back and jumped in there because of the no wick up here, I felt there was going to be a correction just based on price action when there's no wick. That's what happens. So I said if I could get it to come back and hit a risk to reward that is one to one for my first target, then it would be beneficial for me. It wouldn't be no longer out of the way. So I allowed it to pull back. I entered right here and now it's going into profit right we're in profit like three four pips um, so the risk is about 16.6 .6 pips 
um, that's going to be my first target here tp1 we have potential to the upside here and um, since it doesn't have a wick to the to the top we have this nice pullback that could serve as its correction and even without the wick to the top here we're looking to create that right like the opportunity is to create the wick to the top because we don't have one <clears throat> Come on, baby, push, 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 push. Um, oh, that's what I was gonna do. Is I'm gonna write this out for you guys. So. Starting with the stop. What was this? Six one six eight nine. Now, if we get this candle closing back inside this range, then I'm going to consider reducing my risk or closing with a small loss, right? Because then it's not following the price action I'm looking for. But without the wick to the top, like it looks like it's going to be a nice little, little push up. Especially we got London here in ten minutes open. London open. It's Thursday. It's a brand new month. It's been pushing down. It's got to establish that top wick. Yeah, I like, I like the setup. That's why I took it. So we're up about four pips right now, guys. We're up about four pips. Remember what we're going to do at uh, TP1, guys. You guys know what we're doing, right? <clears throat> Test cable and port to the switch. Yeah, um... That's what I was going to do is test the cable, but the thing is the cable's like really long, so I don't have another long cable to, to try out. Um, I need a, I'm going to try the cable because even on, um, even on the router, it doesn't pick it up. Like it doesn't, doesn't show that like there's any data going through it, you know. Probably network adapter is dead. Yeah, I think so too. Evelman Fuentes, ¿Puedes hablar español, bro? Yes, I can. Mi familia es de México. Son de México. Si puedo hablar español. Yeah, Ethernet pop probably. How is it possible it happened to me from router? The surge went into my PC. Yeah, it is possible. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. I think it might be that long GJ on pullback. Yep, fake out. US oil sell. Euro USD buys. Yeah, I'm not even looking at that right now. Let's go. How do you avoid fake outs on breakouts? I, I literally just demonstrated it. <laughs> hey, Banks, but the previous 15 closed with no wick. Wouldn't that mean it very likely to go to the opposite direction? Yeah, that's that was the whole pullback. Um, you speak Spanish, bro. Damn, you, sp you Spanish so fluent, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah, um, you know, I uh, my parents are from Mexico, and, um, like, I have a lot of family that speak Spanish, so... I mean, my parents are U.S. citizens now, right? And they, they live in the States, but um, their first language uh, was Spanish. Although when I grew up, it wasn't like, I mean, we, we spoke English, but um, like my grandparents speak Spanish and a lot of my aunts and uncles. Oh, 
excuse me. Yeah, man. I need to figure out that. That's that's so whack, man. Like I I was like I feel like I was getting you know, ahead of the game because I had just got a laptop to go with me when I'm like mobile so I can, can continue to stream and stuff uh, because my the laptop that I have is a Mac like I have other like like work type laptops but I don't want to like mess with those um, and I needed like a gaming laptop so I can have enough power to stream and like have my meta traders on and stuff and if you guys have ever like traded on a mac like having using meta trader on a mac is just ridiculous and it's the worst like so i highly recommend just getting a windows uh pc for it so i finally got my gaming laptop and it, it got here today um i sent a picture actually in my uh, telegram and on my um Instagram but um, like I feel like I'm, I was like you know becoming a little bit more robust so I can like continue to stream while I travel and now my fucking PC is having issues so hopefully um, there's not too too bad of a, a lag on the stream um, I'm hoping not because it's important to be quick when we're trying to trade here um, we're up about seven pips, guys. Headed towards TP1. Looking lovely, looking lovely. <clears throat> I use an iMac, so good for charting. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you can chart the hell out of it. But I'm saying if you're trying to use MetaTrader, MetaTrader doesn't have a Mac version. So you have to, like, either you're using a virtual PC or you're using, like, one of those, like, um, applications to allow the windows application to run but even then it's glitchy like <clears throat> we're up about eight pips guys up about eight pips on gj took a nice little buy here uh while this thing was surging up came back took it on the uh, pullback because uh, it did break out here and uh, the pullback was expected because of the no wick to the top got that pullback jumped into there on that correction and um, allowing the, the market to to flow in with the volume and push it up now so it's a nice setup I do expect this to continue up and push up into our take profit levels <clears throat> let's go let's go baby who's making money with me today Who's making money with me today? I just use my phone for MetaTrader. Yeah, yeah, like I execute on MetaTrader, like, but like if I'm closing partials, like Hello, I don't know how to close partials on, or I don't know if it's, is it closing partials on MetaTrader or on the desktop version? Like I, sometimes it's like, doesn't want to work. Um, but like on the desktop version is the only way you can do like trailing stops. Um, I don't know, a bunch of little things. Oh. Oh. Let's start off the month right, baby, with a nice fat win. That's what I want. We ended August amazing, man. I mean, I don't think I could have asked for a better ending of August. Uh, you know, we, we've been on a winning streak here on the lives. We've been killing it on New York sessions. CJ's been killing it. Like, it's... It's been nice uh, past couple of weeks. Um, even with the couple of L's that, that we took, you know, it didn't match up to what our, our wins were. So <clears throat> somebody said they wanted to look at gold real quick. Like, why do you want to look at another chart while we're in an active trade? If Even if it executes, I'm not going to take it. I'm managing GJ right now. <clears throat> managing GJ man I don't want to be splitting my attention to multiple things here um, <clears throat> come on baby keep pushing keep pushing keep pushing keep pushing Mm. 
<clears throat> Got about a minute and 18 seconds left on this candle. Just being patient here, guys. Remember what I want to see is I want the candle to, to close above this area, the red dash line there. If it closes back within that range, I will consider reducing my risk or closing it all together with a small loss. But right now we got about 50 seconds left and it's still looking pretty good for me. Um, you know, even if it closes bearish, it's okay just because of the amount of impulse move that we had here. And keep in mind, we have London open happening in two minutes. Two minutes, baby. Two minutes, baby. One minute. 30 seconds, really. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go, baby, up the pips pole. <laughs> People overcomplicate trading. Love the way you trade, man. Calm and patient. The Zen master. Yes, sir. Just keeping it simple, man. Trying to, like, we're in here. Like, I like to look at this as we're just coming in to do a job. You know what I'm saying? Like, my job is to trade. So I come in and execute. You know? It's like if you have a job you know when you do it right and when you do it wrong bam look at that look at that push look at that push it, it closed above though so i'm i'm okay with that like i'm even okay with this being a big wick and then continuing up so let's keep watching that we don't even have a wick to the top right now so oh i hope she doesn't just like try to melt down like hopefully we have enough buffer room there <clears throat> Come on, baby. She is in profits. About two, three pips. Let her do her thing. Be patient. Be patient. Be patient, patient, patient. Um, let's see here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Double click on the green buy line and adjust volume. Oh, okay. You talking about um Yeah, like whenever you but that's just editing it like I don't know if let me see. Yeah, like when I do that my the volume is grayed out, like it doesn't let me it doesn't let me close partials like on the on the MetaTrader. Like that's why I usually do it from my phone. Um, but the trailing stop, I can only set it on the desktop. On the desktop, she's down about two three pips. <clears throat> Come on, baby, we got 13 minutes left on this candle. It's a brand new candle, guys. It's London Open. I do expect there to be some volume here to push it push it in like push it up um, yeah I'm hoping at least we can get up here to TP1 come on baby For partials, I open two trades. Yeah, you can do that too. Um, like, for example, if your risk says to use one standard lot, you can split that and do 2.5 lot sizes positions. And then the first one, put it at your TP1. And then your second one, put it at the final TP. But just know that would be closing 50%, right? So if you want to close more, like you're saying, you know, 60%, then, you know, you would just do the math for that. It's surprising how a lot of people don't understand that, like, they calculate the risk and they use the full position size on one trade. Like, um, I mean, I do it because I'm pretty confident and I can, like, close partials from my phone easily. Um, but if it's sometimes when I'm not, like, going to be actively managing it, like, um, you know, a swing trade or something, I will do multiple positions where like automatically percentage will be closing out at 
TP1, 2, or 3, or 4, whatever. <clears throat> How do you trail stops on... Um, dang, I forgot TikTok. Can't see. <laughs> Sorry about that, TikTok. We got about 300 people live on TikTok. Wow, it's probably because they banned me and I came back and now they're like actually showing my showing my feed. Um, we got about 280 people on YouTube, only 49 likes. Damn, everybody must be new around here. Everybody must not have been eating around here all week how we've been eating. You, you guys must be new. Hmm? What well, about two pips? About three pips. Let's see um, where we are with our subs. We got um, 4,952. So we're 48 subs away. 48 subs away from hitting 5,000 subs, guys. Let's hit them 5,000 subs. And I'll stream London session for you guys next week. For sure, for sure. <clears throat> it's because next week I'm going to be out of town. Come on, baby. Push up. Push up. We got 10 minutes on the clock. 10 minutes on the candle. <clears throat> uh, they make money from stop loss. Be passion. What? I don't know what that means. What's the earliest you would take a trade for London Open uh, pre-market? You know, I, I start at 12, which is technically about two hours before market open um, because I like to have the time and like not be rushed to, to do my markups because I like to go through the explanation with you guys and all that like today I, I was kind of rushed when I did it but like I can do it quickly I just take my time to be able to explain it to you guys and answer questions and all that good stuff but usually an hour before market open um if there is a setup i will i would take a setup right <clears throat> because the strategy is to leverage volume because it's not the most common and traditional trading technique or strategy is going to be a break and retest but i'm only trading the break right so if you know a break and a retest a break is pushing forward and that retest is coming back to test that level that it broke right so when you're trading the breakout strategy it's just that that little break that movement that movement from where it was to go into where it wants to go right <clears throat> and the things that people have to combat with that is going to be you know um fake outs you know it's going to be news mis misleading you right um putting liquidity and volume uh, in a direction that maybe it's not meant to go into and and that fakes you out but with time and practice you're going to begin to start to be able to read these candlesticks and the price action and understand um what you'll see w with the previous price action right like how i talked about this impulse candle with no wick to the top and saying okay i if I, if I didn't know any better and I was new to this game, I would have been like, oh, it broke. This is a strategy, right? It broke. I'm going to jump in right here and put my stops below here. With disregard to, oh, look, the first target level is not worth it. You know, there's no wick to the top. Like right away, I'm seeing these things. So even if you were like a little bit more advanced, you'd be like, oh, let me let me not get in. But for me, knowing that there's still an opportunity here, if the movement and market structure and price action is to play out how I'm seeing it, I know that this impulse move is going to be followed by a correction, which was this move here, right? And saying, if I can get into an entry covering my wig from the previous candle to give me at least the one-to-one -one for the first target, then it would validate me give me the com the confirmation right to to say i can enter that right i can take a chance on that and that's what i did now this second candle here is pushing down and it could very easily come and hit our stops but i'm okay taking that chance based on what i just went over right <clears throat> now like i said if this candle closes inside this range again then i'm gonna look 
to either reduce the risk or, or get out completely, right? <clears throat> I'm going to evaluate how that candle closes. It's like constant management, constant like looking to see what is happening and, and what you can do to uh, manage it, right? Like either either make your money or lose less of it, <clears throat> make good decisions, take good setups. She's pushing downward down like nine pips right now. There's like five, six minutes left on the clock on the candle. Oh man, this might be an L, fellas. This might be an L. She's got a lot of volume to the downside. I don't like it. I don't like it. I'll be okay if it's like a fat wick. But we got five and a half minutes and he needs to start pushing up. It's 209. London is open. Come on, baby. Push back up. Push back up. <clears throat> Got five minutes left on the candle, guys. Five minutes left. <clears throat> five minutes left. Oh, shit. We got like 500 people on TikTok watching. 3,400 likes on TikTok. We got about 300 people on YouTube with uh, only 84 likes. Everybody must be new. Everybody must be new. <laughs> and that's that said I was late today, guys. <laughs> like, usually... I feel like more people come on when I'm like early or on time and I was late today and I guess I need to be late more often, huh? <laughs> now, I just don't, I don't like to be rushed, like doing the, the chart markups and the setups, doing the top down analysis because like I talk it through, you know, I talk it through with you guys so you guys can understand and, and go back and see these videos. Like one of the best things for me, like is seeing you guys go in and comment like on old videos like there was somebody today that was like commenting on like videos from 2021 and he was like oh my gosh just like just opened my mind to understanding it on a whole nother level on a video from a year ago <laughs> you know what i'm saying so like that's cool you know like i i appreciate that and i feel like you know you're making that level of commitment to to take these this seriously <clears throat> yeah guys if you're if you're new here um welcome to lord banks fx i am your host lord banks i live trade forex commodities and indices tuesday wednesday thursday 12 a.m central standard time to 4 a.m central standard time sometimes i can be late um today i had technical difficulties um so i was a little late but i am here nonetheless made it this whole week today is september 1st i definitely didn't want to miss today man because it's it's a brand new month um and i you know i wanted to make sure i was here for it so push baby push yes sir um yeah so if you're new consider subscribing hit the like button uh make sure you hit the notification bell so you're notified when i go live you're now tuning in to Lord Banks FX. There we go. Two and a half minutes left and she's popping back up. See, this is why you don't freak out. This is why we give it its room to play, right? We need it. It needs to breathe up and down. Like, not like, oh, you know, put it really tight. Imagine if I would have put the stops below here and this wick, shh, we'd have got stopped out right away, you know? Um, we're up right now about four or five pips just because we were a little patient, right? We want that candle to close above the red dot, uh, red dash line. That would be confirmation for me uh, to continue to stay in the trade, right? <clears throat> like I said, if it closes below, then I'm going to have to analyze here. What, what are my chances if I should, should I close out? Should I reduce the risk so I can lose less if it hits stop? You know, because the probability of it hitting stop before it hits TP1 increases on the side of it hitting the stop if the candle closes below. 
If it doesn't, the probability is still on my side that we'll reach this level before we reach this level. If that makes sense. So we got about a minute and 15 seconds left here. Minute and 15 seconds left. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I like to trade safe and wait for the retest. Don't want to get caught in false breakout. Simple strategy, but just have to be patient. Like you said, yes, sir. Uh, and I learned to always wait for the candle to close. Thanks for that tip, man. I used to get out way too soon. It would wick up or down and then go right back up or down. Yeah. Yeah, that's the worst, especially when you're like, man, I was fucking right. <laughs> you know, it's going up by your USD. The setup nice. Yeah, I'm not even looking at it right now, bro. Um, that's the thing about trading. You always have to think on your feet because the chart is always moving it will, and it will look different from 930 than at 3 p.m. Yeah, ex for sure, man. I mean, it's it's dynamic. You know, it's always evolving and moving and flowing. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to come to find out that especially when you trade the same things over and over and over and over, you start recognizing patterns. You start recognizing certain things, characteristics that it does that that could give you the indication and the edge you need. Right. Um, <clears throat> what's up, brother? Are you coming on next week? Uh, well, I have my laptop. I haven't set it up yet just because um, like I like slept and my power went out. So I didn't have like access to power and the Internet was out because of the power. And so I didn't even open the like I opened the box that it came in, but I didn't open up the laptop box. So I haven't even got to that point. But let's see if uh, if we can make it to uh, 5000 subs today. I will make a hundred percent effort to go live next week. We're at 4,960. So we need 40 more people to subscribe. If we get 40 people to subscribe to the YouTube. I will definitely give you guys my best effort to go live. So we're about 10 pips here of about 10 pips. We did close above here. That's what I wanted to see. Continuation to the top about 11 12 pips in profit 11 12 pips in profit moving to TP1 trying to get to that TP1 baby let's get it let's get it just being patient this is what patience does this is what patience is all about but with screen time you just start to see levels patterns and supply and demand zones automatically and your eyes just get used to charting the charts fast without even thinking about it yeah exactly like I, I I mentioned this many times in the past on the lives is, you know, really all these lines and stuff. I do it for you guys. So you guys can visually see what I already see in my mind. Like, I don't need this for me. Usually if it was just me, I would just be putting these red, red lines for, for me to be able to set alerts. Come on, baby. 12, 13 pips and profit almost a TP one, baby. Push, push, push. <laughs> JJ Sanchez says, I'm not going to do what everyone thinks I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm not gonna freak out <laughs> when it was in drawdown or what? <laughs> That's funny, man. You gotta you gotta have the nerves of steel, baby. You got you gotta be able to see it, like look at it in the eye and say, not today, not today, baby. We're gonna keep the winning streak alive. We're gonna start the month off with the W and uh you know, let's have a phenomenal month, guys. September 1st, baby. <clears throat> Lovely wick to downside. Yep. I love it, too. Looks, it just, I mean, gives me the confirmation I need. Even with no wick down here, like, I know right now is London open and that volume is pumping. So all I need it to do is hit TP1, you know, and I'm and I'm at a, at a W. Hello, right? Because at TP1, what do we do, guys? Please comment in the chat. Let everybody know what we do at TP1 because we're literally about to hit it. We're literally about to hit it, guys. We're at 15.9. We're like 0.03 pips away. Come on. Not not even like a half a pip away. Oh, you play with me, GJ. Come on. There we go. TP1 is hit, baby. TP1 is hit. What do we do? What do we do? Hear the horns, everybody. In the comments. In the comments, baby. Who's feeding you? Who's been feeding you all week, baby? Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Move your stops to break even. Move your stops to break even at the bare minimum. Take partials. Close the whole thing if you want. It's Thursday, our last trading day of the week. 
do what you want just make sure whatever you do the bare minimum is you are moving your stops to break even so you're no longer risking any more capital any more capital all right <clears throat> get that money baby get that money baby yes sir secure 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 feeling real good feeling real good that's how we want to start the month hell yeah <clears throat> been killing it been killing it killing it killing it now that we hit tp1 and we can relax a little bit relax a little bit <laughs> let me answer some questions get in the comments see how everybody's doing cj gu hit tp1 hit nice congrats congrats uh wow you are the king lb thank you very much make profits baby hands are sweating <laughs> nah man you gotta have the nerves of steel baby look whenever people freak out is because they're not confident and they're not they haven't been here before like win or lose i'm not attached to that result emotionally you know what i'm saying what i'm attached to is did i do everything possible and everything i'm supposed to do as a great trader right like i'm not gonna feel bad if i take an l and i know i did everything i was supposed to do now i would feel bad if i took an l because i broke my rules i bent my rules i made an exception on my rules all of that like, i i don't do that i'm methodical baby discipline 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 <clears throat> you watched the movie the beach not today <laughs> leo says to the shark uh, i don't think i've seen that uh, move stops to break even yes sir we go car shopping <laughs> this guy must have thrown lambo lot on this thing uh scale out or take profit yes sir tp1 <laughs> what do you say tp1 equals michila <laughs> what uh tp1 and i get my uber eats <laughs> nice sounds those horns baby yeah we hit i did hit the horns but one more time just because we've been winning we've been killing it one more time for the people in the back yes sir yes sir we're winners today baby first of the month we're winning that's how you want to set the tone set that intention right uh all month we're going to be winning captain planet yes sir move stops to break even yep fx bounty hunter party <laughs> thank you brother you're welcome drinks yeah w let's get it tp2 incoming yes sir thanks lb winning winning that wick said hello motherfucker <laughs> it is time to take those stop losses out <laughs> but it never closed below lol let's go banks yes sir w w w yep wins 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 baby wins that was cardio exercise thanks brother <laughs> you got that heart pumping got that heart pumping banks just made 100k on that trade <sighs> something light like something light like please repost uh the gold chart oh yeah did i not do that like, man, i'm sorry i'm all over the place today guys i'm trying my best baby if you made money today with me do me a favor guys and hit hit that like button sorry i just copied the same thing again without the target levels <clears throat> hit that like button if you're new here welcome to lord banks fx i hope you made some money today on your first day here first of the month september 1st and uh you know consider subscribing if we get to 5,000 subs today i will stream for you guys next week london session i was gonna i was gonna uh i was gonna make it exclusive for for my new uh so i made some changes guys Let's talk about the changes. Hello, motherfucker. Yeah, and if you look at the link in my description in the bio, like um, you can find the link to all of my stuff, my Instagram, my Twitter, my YouTube, Discord, which is free, Hello, free Telegram. Um, I do have some paid services that you can check out. Uh, what I did was I made some changes to what was our VIP. Anyone that was already in vip that got in last month 
you guys don't have to worry about anything it's going to stay the same as long as you if you're lifetime you definitely don't have to worry about anything but if you're on a recurring um monthly thing as long as you don't let your membership lapse you're locked in for all the 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 groups that i opened up so because i was getting a lot of feedback for people that were like oh like i just want i don't want all this like chatter and like chat and i just want to like get trade signals like and i always talked about like the vip room i didn't consider it just to be a strictly like hey this is just signal rooms like it's so much more than that so what i did was is i created three different groups and um and they're three different packages right like if you just want signals you can just um purchase the lbfx signals uh telegram if you just want the live sessions the new york sessions the ones i do with us 30 which is a beast she's an animal but she pays ridiculous um i think i seen a message yesterday or today someone is still in sales from like tuesday and uh the for, for their runner <laughs> that we had and and like he's been milking it this whole time like i was like man this guy must be like up up nice nice i ended up closing but like props to him uh hanging in there and um you know taking profits on the way down but anyway so there's the live the lbfx live it's just gonna be live sessions okay there's the LBFX signals. You're just going to get signals in there. And then there's the LBFX analysis where you're just going to get charts. Like how I do charts on Sunday, when I send those out, you're going to get dedicated charts in there every week. Weekly um, marked up charts for you guys uh, to take on. And uh, if you open up the bot, it'll give you the description and what, what I'm committing to. Because I'm not saying on the live, it's going to be every single live. Um, it's, I'm committing to doing minimum like four a month. I'm obviously going to try to do more. Um, but I don't want to like over commit here cause I have a lot of things going on as well. But, um, you know, just with one of those lives, one of those trades for you guys on the U S 30 to like pay for the whole year. Um, <clears throat> and the VIP that I have now is the LBFX VIP, the price is higher than the price of anyone that got in vip previously so if you're if you got in before today you got a great deal because you get everything um the vip right now will get access to those three groups that i talked about and um that price point is higher than the price that of the of the past so the reason I did that is just because, um, you know, a lot of people asked me, you know, they wanted specific things and they were like, oh, it's like they felt like they were paying for things that they didn't even use or want. Um, so I created these little mini groups so people can more affordable for the ones that want to use that, you know, like if they just want signals, because I know some people use uh, create like um, those uh, those copiers when I send out a signal and they take that and they um, create a robot to automatically take the trade for them. Um, so they don't, they don't even have to pay attention to telegram. They just have um, the, um, the robot read the, the messages. So in that is going to be just those signals like that. I'm going to be sending out. Um, and yeah, so like just launch the bot guys and read it. But if you're already in my VIP, in your or in lifetime vip or vip before like yesterday you got in either yesterday or before nothing's changing for you guys you're going to have access to everything all the benefits that i'm going over right now you'll already have access that's why some people reached out to me and i kept telling them yesterday you know don't worry about it you got it you're good um but now i have a little bit more options for those that just want oh i just want to do lives or i just want the charts uh, for analysis or I just want um, signals and nothing else you know so <clears throat> that's that but gold is kind of just ranging right there see what happens but GJ is looking lovely 
she is looking lovely we do got a runner here we've set our stops to break even still in with the runner we took a w already here with the tp1 made some money made some money emotions man oh scared money don't make money yeah hell yeah that is facts baby damn look at that pips yes sir i posted the the gold chart back up so so you guys can have that uh i'm just here for the horns <laughs> go to tp2 that's what we're waiting on let's get those likes up man people be making free money and not liking the video i know it man i know it where is it at we got about uh, 400 people on TikTok and uh, about 270 on YouTube. Um, we only got 129 likes, guys. Let's see how many subs do we got. Did we crack five yet? We're at 4,980 subs. We need... 20 more subs and I will do London live streams for you guys next week. Hello, <clears throat> if we don't, I'll just take it, take the week off and I'll just stream with my VIP. And anyone that signs up for the VIP, uh, or I mean for the, the live, the L BFX live. Yeah, all the info is in there if you guys are looking for that. So if you just uh, go to the bot and read the descriptions it'll tell you how much each one is there are different prices you know um, for you guys more affordable if you just want analysis or just want signals or just want the live session <clears throat> CJ be killing it too man CJ be killing it too um, I do have the LBFX member setups chat which is a private free telegram the link for that is in the free telegram group uh, pinned message for cj cj is uh one of my one of my most uh, accomplished followers here he found me on tiktok and uh, just absolutely murdered the game uh, he was 16 years old when uh, he started following me and taking trades was earlier this year and um learning you know the strategies and he's 17 now he makes more than his professors and his teachers and um you know if you see sometimes like he'll send out a setup and i'll send out a setup and for the same pair <laughs> not intentionally right but what's crazy is if you look at them they're like almost identical like <laughs> I seen one of one of the US 30 charts he sent and I was like, dude, it's like almost exactly what I marked up. So the dude is is getting it. Props to CJ. Well done guys. Lord Banks blessing us with the pips. Yes, sir. US 30 gonna get it again. <laughs> yes, sir. We're gonna be on the New York session as well. Um, but I might just mark up the chart and then wait for the execution uh, because I have uh, my follow up with my doctor for the surgery that I had so Hello, I have to go see him this morning <clears throat> W thanks sir you're welcome you're welcome uh, market sponsored your, your ethernet port right I'm probably just gonna buy a new fucking desktop like I need I need another one like more powerful I got one that was pretty pretty good I thought but um, especially now with like all the challenge accounts that I'm doing for the challenge service like passing challenges I have like I'll kid, I kid you not I have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I have twelve twelve different um, meta traders like installed and opened up right now for the challenge service accounts like because i'm passing those challenges and they're like for my forex funds um ftmo e8 8 cap like a bunch of different ones um <clears throat> and it takes like a lot of cpu like it you know weighs my computer down on the uh the processing and then you know i'm over here 
streaming and I have I'm like recording it as well um, I found a, I got I just got a new video editor that I'm hoping um, he's gonna edit this video start September September 1st with a, a video edited um, like a recap video that I'm gonna post on Instagram and and TikTok. so I'm kind of excited about that too shout out to him thanks for the follows guys thanks for the likes thanks for the love we took a W here already on GJ um, just have a runner left on there seeing if we can get that to move to TP2 or TP3 and um, in the meantime also watching gold you know we have alerts set if uh, we get an alert trigger maybe we'll take another trade and make some more money who wants to make some more money uh, who wants to make some more money all right we're at 4991 4991 subs on youtube uh if we get to 5000 we're streaming next week baby Shit, if we get to 5000 i'll find another setup right now for you guys let's see it's london session Who's got a setup out there? You guys were looking at Euro for a buy? Uh, maybe. Uh, you know what other pairs move right now? Euro, JPY, uh, AUD, JPY. Look at these. Euro, JPY. Uh, uh, I don't really like that. Ugly. I mean, maybe if it comes down below here. This is moving sideways. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. GJ is still running and she's still paying us. She's still paying. Let this, let this puppy run up to TP3, baby. Come on now. It'll be real nice, real nice. <clears throat> uh, Banks, no one does this live. Call those paper traders out, baby. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I mean, I talk about it every every stream, guys. Like, you know, I'm not sitting here and trying to tell you, hey, you know, I'm the best person to follow. Like, you know, the best person for you to learn from is someone that you can relate to, someone that you have confidence in that knows what they're doing the only thing I would suggest to you and when you're choosing someone to learn from and follow in this industry and in this skill set is they should be able to at least trade live with you one time or, or you see them trade live one time. You know, like I do this Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, um, and I have tons of videos on my YouTube channel. You can go back and check it out. Like I've been doing this for a while, but I'm saying if your if your furu <laughs> is not trading live um you know i may be questioning it i don't know like i just think in this industry it's very easy to get misled um, and that was one of the first things that i noticed and uh was one of my like i always said if i if i got into this and started streaming and sharing with other people um, and grew like a following like I wanted to live trade so people could see you know um, what it really is like to trade you know because uh, people there's a lot of entertainers out there baby like you know um, and I get it man like the I'm not the entertainer type I'm not a comedian and I'm not a like uh you know, I think that those entertainer types are the ones that get, you know, 100,000, 300,000 views on their videos and they got these huge followings and, you know, I get it. I get it. Like, you know, that's their, their hustle. But um, I think over time, if I keep showing up and I keep showing you guys what I what I'm doing, like you'll you'll realize like over time all all truths are exposed 
Well done, guys. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Starting the month like this is all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, guys. Like, like only 123. <clears throat> oh, damn. We got a lot of. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what time do you trade from when to when? Thank you. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. 12 a.m. Central Standard Time to 4 a.m. Central Standard Time. London session. Currency, commodities, and indices. <clears throat> I had too big of balls and didn't cash at first take profit and just hit my take. Even stop loss kind of pissed at myself. Oh. Yeah, you know, you got to evaluate your situation, man. Like if if you're upset that it hit break even, it's probably because you haven't made any profits this week, right? Like I've made pretty decent profits this week. So like my, my partials were smaller, right? Um, but I did still secure a bag, right? Because it's the last trading day of the week and it's the first trading day of the month, right? So it's kind of like a twofer. <laughs> Uh, see you next week, LB. You are the king. Salute to your. S oh, I think I'm about to get stopped at break even. <clears throat> Thank you, brother. You're welcome. Thanks, LB. You're welcome. Yeah, I closed partials at TP1. So you must be new here. Let me explain something to you guys. At TP1, guys. At TP1. At the bare minimum. You should be moving your stops to break even to where you no longer lose, no longer risk capital, risk free trade. Now, at TP1, at the same time, you have to evaluate your situation to determine, do I take partials? Do I close the whole thing? Like, what is your situation? Are you currently aggressively scaling and, and uh, compounding your account? maybe close 90%. Have you been winning all week and you're happy with the profits you've made so far? Maybe just move your stops to break even and, and take a gamble on a, on a nice big move. Are you just following your, your plan where you just take 50% every single time? Take 50%. Like you have to understand that, that the answer to what you should do at TP1 Besides moving your stops to break even, like how much you're closing, it's really going to be dependent upon you and your account and your situation. Like I can't answer that for you. But I can at least try to get you in the frame of mind to understand what you should be thinking about to make that decision, you know. <clears throat> All three of the pairs hitting TP is nice. I miss what you said about the bot. Um, I think you're already in my VIP. The, the bot is just, I'm just talking about, um, I went from having my VIP, what I have right now, what I previously would do, which is sending out charts, the chat, the swing trades, intraday trades, and the live trades all with VIP. I broke it out into three different groups. Okay. But if you were already in VIP, before today, if you've already been in there, if you signed up before, you get all the benefits and at the lower price. Because now, if you want all of those benefits, the price has gone up. Or if you just want live sessions, New York live sessions, it's just one price for that. One, one group for that. If you just want signals, it's one for that. If you just want analysis, it's one for that. Um, <clears throat> so it, it broke me out at break even guys. Um, so we just closed partials in this at uh, about 16 and a half pips and then it came back and broke even. So <clears throat> good thing I secured a little bit of profits there. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. It's all good. It's part of the game. That's what we do. <clears throat> Will you be getting in gold trade if it were to break out now or you're done for London session? I mean, if the setup is really nice, like if I'm iffy about the setup, I mean, why risk a profitable day, the end of a profitable week and the beginning of a profitable month, right? 
So it, it's going to have to be a really convincing setup and price action, you know, for me to, to want to take it. Because right now, statistically, I'm doing phenomenal for the week, for the day, and the beginning of the new month. <clears throat> uh, sorry, just got on the stream. Is the GJ swing sale last time still valid? I mean, that one, I wouldn't get into that trade, that swing sell that I sent out like two days ago because it already hit TP1. It hit TP1 and right now our stops are at break even. Like it's still moving and I believe it's going to continue, but it already hit TP1. So you wouldn't want to get into that. <clears throat> 10 times is six, eight, seven, eight, five, but not enough. Major W today, Banks. Nice, yes, most welcome, most welcome. I'm here to feed the family, baby. I'm here to feed the family. I consider all y'all family, my Banks fam. Because if, uh, if there ain't nobody out here that's gonna feed y'all, Banks gonna feed y'all. Y'all heard that DJ Kelly song? God did. I'm about to start be. I'm gonna start saying Banks did. <laughs> CJ, don't you have school? <laughs> CJ bought the school, baby. <laughs> CJ about to be a millionaire before he gets to college. I believe it, man. I believe it. <clears throat> gold, please. I, I'm on gold, bro, right now. Can you go over which specific candles you use to determine the range this morning on GJ? Um, yeah, I'll look at it here in a minute, bro. I'm, I want to see what gold does in this next candle. Hello, because technically we have this little support here that it's kind of breaking, but no wick up there. So I want to see how it's moving. Can you, let's see, bro. I want to be CJ. <laughs> CJ is the protege, man. That dude is... He's impressive. He's impressive. <clears throat> Gold, my friend, please. Yeah, I already did that, bro. Hey, Banks, what are your rules for marking up your breakout lines? I noticed your breakout to the upside was above the previous body and the breakout to the downside was below the previous wick. Yeah, I did it below the previous wick. When I did it, I, I was talking about it because it was already breaking. It w we saw this candle happening, right? And I had my, previously, I had this line, instead of here, I had it here, right? And we had that wick that opened up the candle with no wick to the top, and this fat wick to the downside was happening. And it wasn't going to give me uh, an opportunity. So for me, I knowing that the price action with no wick to the top would mean a potential correction right so for me i said i need to get my range out of this area so i moved it down below this wick because although this wick did wick below that's the current price that it was on so i was looking to the left for historical price data to see that this wick here passing this wick then we could have a nice little range to the downside here a nice little potential opportunity right for TikTok to see this clean clean traffic price price action to the downside so <clears throat> that's why I moved it from over here down here and it's including a wick like it's being formulated by a wick basically not by actual support because look, look at all these look at just the price action in this if you just look at this there's like big candles small candles wicks everywhere like it is not good direction and then seeing how this was forming without the wick and spiking down and then pulling up i was like nah i want to get out of this mess so looking to the left down getting out of this mess the first thing i pass is this passing this looking further to the left we see this nice movement to the downside so that's how i ended up coming with coming up with that uh, bottom range right there <clears throat> hopefully that makes sense uh dang banks you okay surgery yeah i already had the surgery guys this was like two weeks ago i talked about it with you guys already 
um, I'm all good. Like it, w- it wasn't anything like, like my health is, everything's fine. It's just, it was, it's not even anything serious, serious. It was um, sinus surgery, sinus surgery. Cause my whole, like I have really bad allergies and uh, then like my allergies. And when I got COVID, like I got like literally caused permanent um, damage to my nasal passageways and um, I was having like hard time breathing through my nose and um, like it was causing me not to be able to sleep and like I couldn't get like REM sleep and I was always tired and I was waking up with headaches because I was having a hard time trying to breathe and um, then my snoring got really bad and like and my girl was like just upset about all that so um, I went to the doctor and like they they were like yeah your your nasal your nasal passageway is just horrible so I had to have like surgery to fix it <clears throat> but I mean I'm all good all good baby man this thing just came and fucking stopped us out at break even or like closed our break even trade and then it's pushing back up again that's funny it's all good though it's all good all good in the hood <clears throat> Uh, Banks, what entry is that? Uh, we're not in an active trade anymore, guys. Like, we jumped into this trade. It hit our TP1, closed partials, and then it came and um, our runner hit break even. So we're not in a, any active trades right now. Um, I do have a gold setup. I'm waiting for the alert to trigger. Hey, boss, just want to share that today I lost 10% in one day. Damn. After making 40% in three weeks, felt really bad to make this rookie mistake over leveraging. Please roast me. <laughs> yeah, bro. Um, you're probably not following your plan. Like if you only made 40% in three weeks and then lost 10%, like you either over traded, um, over leveraged or completely ignored your rules. Yeah. Over leveraging. Yeah. You're probably over leveraging cause you're, you're chasing a trade or like, your revenge trading, right? Like you lost one and you're like, oh, I need to do a little bit higher lot size so I can recover, recover. Whenever you're trading guys and you take an L, take the L, take it on the mouth and, and, and like be okay with it. Your next trade, you shouldn't double up on your lot size to try to recover what you lost. If you keep operating in the sense of you're trying to recover what you lost, you're going to continuously disobey your rules, right? And when you're not disciplined and you're not consistent, remember guys, the market is the variable. You have to be the constant. So if you don't buckle down and, and stick to your guns and you follow your rules, you will never get better. You will never get better. Indeed. Let's go. Let's get that bag. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get another computer for the past your challenge accounts, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is what I'm going to do. No, I mean, I like in here, the, I can, the challenge accounts are fine. Like, um, I have no problem with the challenge accounts. It's just the streaming on this PC. I like to be hardwired in because of the, the upload rate, um, and the lag, especially when we're doing scalps. Like I want you guys to be able to jump in when I'm jumping in. You know, <clears throat> so that's my only concern. Let's go. Printing money is a spiritual affair. It is a Zen art. Yeah. Yeah. I used to talk about um, like being a great trader is part skill, part art. Right. It's like you have to like not only be good with the technicals and what you need to know, which is a small, small part, but you need to be good with like your EQ level, right? Your emotional intelligence needs to be high enough to basically emotionally detach yourself from the results of what's happening from a monetary like standpoint, from a financial standpoint, and then focus on your skill and refining that craft on being good at taking great setups, great probabilities executing when you're supposed to um, because I mean you know it can do a lot it, like the psychology of trading is super 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 underrated 
super underrated like the the role it plays because like for example if i would have taken this trade if i see this thing go up and hit tp2 tp3 knowing that it broke me out uh, it's stopped me at break even on the runner like most people would based on that on the next trade would break the rule because of this one time that it came and did this and still went and hit tp3 but for me i'm still gonna follow my rule even if it does that because this one time is not enough for me to gamble right like it's not enough <clears throat> And you'll learn that you'll learn that uh let's see here bro you keep asking for gold bro like i i put it on the chart and i i sent the chart out i sent the link out like are you not seeing this bro look i have alerts like if anything happens the screen's gonna pop up it's gonna tell me <laughs> you know uh <clears throat> How much money do you need to start trading to make good profits? Well, first define what's good profits. You know, because that could be, I mean, that's very subjective. <clears throat> very subjective. I don't know um, how to answer that. Like, I mean, I've seen people trade with little micro mini accounts with, a couple of hundred dollars I consider anything less than ten thousand dollars a small account if you have even less than that you know you're you're working with a very very small account I'm not saying it's not doable but you know you if you follow proper risk management you're gonna be just making sense <laughs> like pennies pennies for a while till you till you graduate into just dollars and then, and then take take some time getting the feel for that till you get to maybe five dollars <laughs> and then ten dollars and then you know 20 and then 50s and then hundreds and then thousands you know like it, it it's a process to scale up to that level uh, if price is hovering two or three pips below your TP and looks like it's coming down will you close yeah absolutely 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 the way i look at it like this man look if it's like a couple of pips away baby that's your spread you know what i'm saying like <laughs> look i'm not out here to play with my money like if if it's like if i still feel like i see price action and uh, momentum in my favor i may and depending on how i am that week i may just move my stop loss to break even before it hits that TP1, if it's like hovering a couple of pips away, and I'll just move my stop loss to break even, because at the bare minimum, remember, there's two rules in this game. Rule number one, protect your capital at all cost, okay? Rule number two, don't lose money, all right? If you can reference those with whatever question you got you can make your decision so if you're hovering a couple of pips away you think those couple of pips are worth you losing your full stop loss not uh not for me move your stop loss to break even at the bare minimum you know even if you want to close or take partials whatever like two three pips bro that is a spread that is just a spread on a, on a normal broker right <clears throat> Uh, did CJ learn from you? Uh, well, ask CJ. <laughs> Hello, I don't know. I mean, I know um, he had been trading, and um, but I know like he came in and soaked up all the info and like you know asked a lot of questions and you know, I mean he was hella committed, hella committed. You know, <laughs> the dude was like uh, joining live streams while he was in class and shit and <laughs> like. Um, he just put in the work he put in the work like I don't know what to tell you like I, and, and for him like you know everyone's journey is going to be different and you know some people can pick this up quickly and some people can't and I don't know if CJ I don't think CJ was starting from complete scratch I think he understood and knew what trading was and maybe even was already trading but um, like you know what he came in to this world 
to figure out, he was able to pick up quickly. And whenever he had questions or doubts, like, you know, he was in my ear and commenting and in the discord and all that good stuff. So, you know, he deserves his like he deserves what he's getting right now. Like he's killing it. <clears throat> this man, uh, the only guy that has all wins this week. If y'all fools ain't subscribed, something wrong <laughs> with you. Thanks, Lord Banks. Took that GJ trade. Nice. Yeah, I got Insta. Bro, you're at 5k. You owe us another. Oh, am I really? Let me see. Uh, yeah, we are. Congratulations. Let's hear the horns for the 5,000 subs. <laughs> officially, officially 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. We're at 5,007. 5,007. So I will be streaming next week. London session. I'll be streaming next week. London session. Um, I'm going to be doing it for my new laptop. So it'll probably be a different like setup um but we will make it happen baby <coughs> um thanks lords yeah i'm reading the comments like in like i know there's a lot of comments ahead of this but i'm trying to like answer as many of these as i can so if it seems like there's a lag there isn't i'm just behind on reading the comments uh, the Lord did banks, baby. Hey, banks, is that sleep apnea? Yeah, like um, I was, I was having sleep apnea because of the whole sinus thing. <clears throat> I definitely sleep better now. Yeah, I definitely sleep better now. Uh, my doc said sniffing too much of that green paper. <laughs> yeah, probably. I don't know. Uh, if you have money amount for the week or month, etc., break it down to a day, then break it down to pips. Yeah. Uh, are you coming on next week? Yes, I will be on next week. Can't can't can't, oh, can't spell heart without art. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Dylan says the biggest lesson I'm learning from you is to stick to the rules and be super chill regardless of what happens. Thank you for that. Yeah, man. Um, I think a lot of times, you know, one of my main objectives and goals by doing live streams is it's easy to say what to do but not a lot of people do what they say to do right um so that's why when i come on here i do the exact same thing over and over and over and over the exact same way you know if you go look at all my past lives i come on the charts i clean the charts up no indicators, straight price action, top-down analysis, monthly, weekly, daily, zones on the four, refine on the one, identify range on the 15, set it up, set up alerts, be patient, and execute. By repeating that for you guys, you begin to understand what it takes to be successful in this game. Like just, just like the work ethic and the, the way I execute, right? Not, I'm not even talking about, oh, it's, oh, it's a specific strategy and blah, blah, blah. Like, look, there's no right or wrong way to do this thing. You know what I'm saying? Like you can come in here, do whatever kind of strategy you want, but it's about how you're executing. Um, and that's super important. So like one of my main objectives with, you know, being here with the community and being you know active in here and and live streaming is that is i wanted to demonstrate that i wanted to show you guys because look trust me like this i this is a scalp right like what we do here on london but i have i have um trades for for intraday trading for swing trading for position trading pattern trend trading like i have strategies for i mean i probably have like over 25 30 different strategies i don't use indicators but i know how to use all of them like it, it doesn't like for me i don't need to come on here and explain and, and talk about all those different things because it's not what i'm here for like i just come in here and do one thing one thing even though i have this whole arsenal in my tool bag like a bunch of different things that i could do i do one thing because this one thing is probably going to be the most helpful thing for you you because of this one thing will end up helping more people
because if I if I came in here and was like, oh, like uh, this is a um, uh, a scalp that we're in, and here's an intraday setup, and here's a swing, blah blah blah. Like you guys would be all over the place. A lot of times where where people mess up and they begin to fail is the fact that their rules they try to trade trade rules based rules based systems and the thing is is that their rules for a, a particular plan a strategy that they have starts bleeding into a different style and strategy and you can't do that like you have to be good at switching your hat if you're going to do multiple things but not a lot of people can do that so what do i do for the lives one thing one way that's it right <clears throat> like if you're part of my vip or been part of my vip and joined when i did the um uh when i've done new york sessions we scalp us 30 and that's completely different than this the, the setup don't even look the same you know <clears throat> and i have to explain that but ask vip if we're successful with us 30 scalping it in new york we've been eating all week lovely it's been lovely baby <laughs> uh captain planet says as a trader one important rule that can save your account and help you become a consistent profitable trader is that you have to respect your stop loss do not move your stop loss if it hits get the f out yeah i mean it's there for a reason like it sh you shouldn't have a negative connotation with your stop loss your stop loss is your friend your stop loss is there to make sure you don't blow your account now if you're getting frustrated about your stop loss because it always hits and then goes your direction that means you need to be better at analyzing right you need to buff up your oh i just it's because i just want to do a 10 pip stop but the price action is telling you there's room for 40 pips to, to run in like why would you put 10 pips stop you know uh, <clears throat> so just a couple of things uh, Martin says would you be able to give me your opinion on my an analysis of AUD USD I think it went up for retrace and now heading down um, I'm gonna tell you one thing bro if you need someone else to look at your analysis and you're not that confident enough to look at your analysis like you need to not try to make predictions of where price is going and trading that you need to work on your confidence in your analysis um, I, I have no problem looking at it I will definitely look at it but another thing I'm gonna tell you is remember our job as traders is not to predict price it's to react to price okay so you know if you want to send me the chart I'll look at it and um, give you some feedback uh, do 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 uh, just gotta grab yourself a strong shot of something when shit turns up <laughs> not even man like, it, like once you get in once you're in this for a while man like it doesn't even you know it doesn't even affect you like you'll understand how it just that the game is it is what it is and sometimes you will you will hit that l and you got to take it on the chin like nothing 5k congrats zen master appreciate it what time are you coming on next week same time man same time london session 12 a.m central standard time to 4 a.m central standard time <clears throat> congrats congrats appreciate it is there still a possible buy position on gj no bro like we once you hit tp1 the the move is done <laughs> the move is done and remember we're leveraging market pre-market open and market open volume it's 3 a.m market's been open for an hour now like yeah i'm sure there's still volume that's going to go on continue through the day but we're just looking for that initial push because that is has that is what this strategy calls for right i'm one of those subs nice appreciate it welcome to the family welcome to the family do you use this breakout strategy to pass your challenge accounts no I, I don't like I don't use this breakout strategy to pass its challenge accounts just because I have many challenge accounts that I'm working on at once so understand like you you saw how quickly this was that I had to get in 
like this trade you the live trades i don't even take on the challenge accounts the live trade or i mean the the challenge accounts are different strategies that i use just because i'm managing multiple ones at a time if if i was just managing one you can definitely use a breakout strategy to pass it but the thing is where you have to tweak is you have to tweak because of the the rules of your challenges right you have your phase one rules and your phase two rules and there's a bunch of different ones like come to find out on one of them i was doing a challenge account that i should have already passed but i entered into trades um i entered into a couple of trades and because i have multiple challenge accounts that i'm passing right now um i just enter real quick like i'm manually because i do everything manually I like enter 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 and like i go down the list of my the meta the meta traders and i enter the trades and by and then i come back and set you know the stops and all that and the targets and when i got back to it like it, the trades were closed out and i was like what the hell like it wasn't like you know violating the the drawdown it wasn't like like i i couldn't understand why we'll come to find out that particular prop firm um you have to have a stop loss set like within the first like two minutes or something like that otherwise it'll close it out and i was like damn dude it, it was like two trades that went for like five percent gains each and and it closed me out it was ridiculous but you know you learn and you keep keep moving it's not like i lost they closed me out in freaking profit like <laughs> i was like why did this close I, at first i thought it was the 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 guy that <laughs> i thought it was the guy that took um that it's his account i was like gonna go message him like dude like i told you like if you're if you mess with the account i'm gonna stop trading it <laughs> um but he had reached out to me and he was like oh because he got an email from the from the prop firm telling him it was like a violation of the rule but it wasn't like gonna like um like the he doesn't lose the account it, it's more of a like a a warning and letting you know like you need to be setting stop loss or whatever and i'm like dude, i mean i did have a stop loss and it wasn't gonna hit the stop loss by the time i got back to set it like i just i had a bunch of accounts that i was entering the trades on anyways that's other stuff um let's see here cj says i pretty much learned all profitable <laughs> all profitable stuff from banks i had blown fuck loads of accounts before <laughs> before banks <laughs> i think it, man that's that's common bro like don't like don't feel bad about that because everybody goes through that like you know if you haven't blown an account are you really trading? <laughs> He's like, if you haven't blown an account, are you a real? You are you really a trader? <laughs> you know, I think you gotta at least experience it once to know what it feels like, so it can sting a little, and you can come to your senses about protecting your capital and not losing money. <clears throat> you just gotta sacrifice your Xbox time to make cash. All my mates are working part-time jobs at Starbucks whilst I'm doing school, whilst I'm sitting at home doing what I want. Who is winning? That's very, very insightful, brother. Yes, sir. Uh, what's a good amount of pips per day? That That's, I mean, why would you, I wouldn't put, I wouldn't put a focus on that. Like you shouldn't be focusing on, oh, I want to catch a hundred pips a day, or I want to make a thousand dollars a day, or I want to, because that's going to cause you to do things while you're trading that don't align with what the market is actually telling you, because you want to make so much money. You want to make so many pips. Um, what's a good amount, bro, with my account, honestly, 10, 15 pips is fine with me i'm good i'm still getting paid nice at the end of the week right now if you have a small account 10 15 pips may not be that much right but you implement plans right you you, you implement a scaling plan a, a compounding plan for you to get to a point where 10 15 20 pips is enough right <clears throat> don't be impatient don't be impatient Charlie Sheen winning, winning. Oh, shit. Uh, 
Do you take breakouts between specific times? Would you take a breakout at 12.30 p.m.? I do the breakout strategy on the London live sessions. I'm trading from 12 a.m. Central Standard Time to 4 a.m. Central Standard Time. That's when I'm focused on taking a breakout trade. The breakout, tra the breakout strategy works because it is leveraging pre-market and market open volume. Okay. So it, I wouldn't be trading the breakout strategy in the middle of the day, in the middle of a, of a session, Hello, you know, or a session that doesn't have a lot of volume, right? It doesn't make sense. <clears throat> Bro, please say that again. Say, I'm sorry, I'm like behind on the comments, so I'm not sure what, what you're referencing, but uh, Dylan says, it's already drilled in. I have been getting more wins, so thank you. Most welcome, brother, most welcome. Hello, which strategy do you use? Are you trading liquidity? I feel like we're like, I need to like record this and just hit a button like the horns to repeat myself. <clears throat> Do you use MT4 or something else? Yeah, I think everybody uses MT4. Uh, well, I, you can connect brokers to TradingView, and there's Hello, like other like web traders, or whatever the C traders and stuff. But yes, I use MT4 or MT5. Um, the most common, the most common uh, platform. <clears throat> Are you in this trade again? No, uh, I wouldn't jump in again. I was just watching it to see if, if it's going to go up. Like, it, it broke me out of break even with the runner. I won on the TP1. And, uh, you know, just watching it. Like, we got gold looking to uh, bust down. Bust down. We got about 45 minutes left on the stream. Um, yeah, maybe this, this sets up. Well, this would be the, the candle. I probably won't get in because I, I stopped my my stream at 4 a.m., which is in like 45 minutes. Um, <clears throat> and I would stay on a little later for you guys, but I'm trading New York session live with uh, with VIP and anyone that's purchased the uh, New York live um, Telegram group for just the lives. <clears throat> but anyways I'm here for it laters bro laters laters uh, gold touch zone yeah but that doesn't mean we we take the trade you know you're a godsend bro I'm a hey, I'm here for it man I'm just trying to do what I felt I could have used when I was starting right um, I'm not perfect by no means right <laughs> but you know uh, I feel like I'm a decent enough trader and uh, I'm confident in my skills. And uh, I mean, like if I can share that with you guys, I will. You know, at the end of the day, like I'm not here to try to convince anybody to follow me or to do my way or none of that. Look, I'm going to demonstrate with my lives. If you like it, there's other stuff that you can get involved with. If you really want to be involved and, you know, um, grow your 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 repertoire right and, and being able to trade and your skills in trading Hello, um, <clears throat> there's tons of things that I offer that you can do that with and there's also things that I offer that are free that you can do that with right you can jump in for the discords you know keep joining the lives the the London live streams like these are free guys these are free <clears throat> and appreciate that man I have you know just a put things in perspective guys i offer one-on-ones and i charge fifteen hundred dollars an hour or 750 for 30 minutes okay and you can ask the people that i've done one-on-ones with and ask them if they seen their skill improve or not and 95 percent of them are going to say yes okay so like me spending this time with you guys here in the london session like I could easily be going and filling it up with one-on-ones or trading it with myself. Um, but this is something that I'm doing for you guys, right? <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, I make sure I get up early and set up GJ before you. Then I use your chart set up as confirmation that I'm on point. That is really helping my confidence. Nice. That's a good way to do it. 
Uh, bro, are you Eastern Time? No, I am Central Standard Time. <clears throat> Check gold. I'm on gold right now. Got about 11 and a half minutes. Hey, Banks, I wanted to get an opinion on my management of this trade. It didn't hit TP1 and then the one hour closed rejecting. So I closed 50% break even. Yeah, I mean, you should if you took profits, bro, I'm gonna tell you one thing. Look, at the end of the day, you can't go broke taking profits. Okay, look, you cannot go broke taking profits. So never question yourself in a situation where you're like, Oh, should I should I have continued? Did you take profits? Like, if it was a situation where you lost money, then you know, really dig into it. But if you took profits, let it go. Let it go because you you're gonna overthink it. You're gonna overthink it, and the next time you're gonna bend your rules, and you're gonna allow it to move, and it's gonna go against you. It's gonna go against you. <clears throat> Gold is tanking. Yes, yeah, she's moving down, but. Um, I would I only get in at the candle closures so like right now it's ten and a half minutes left on this candle like even though that it's pushing down like this like I wouldn't be getting in um, like there's no entry for me you know I, I on the GJ I got in on the pullback because what I explained in the price action that I saw but this right here is following the strategy it should be a candle but it shouldn't put us out of our risk to reward for the first target, right? Depending on where it closes and wait for it to close because this could easily just be a wick, especially with gold. Gold loves to wick out and just push right back up. So don't don't fool yourself. Don't be completely convinced. There's nine minutes and 40 seconds on this. This could very easily pull all the way back up very easily. <clears throat> No, thank you, Golden Penguin. Bro, how much money you got on your account, my brother? Um, I'm a six-figure trader, so I'll leave it at that. <sighs> I don't really like sharing that kind of stuff, man, because, you know, I'm a private person. At the end of the day, this world is a crazy place. You know, the, these videos are on YouTube, and the last thing I need is some crazy motherfucker trying to come at me for some stupid shit. Look at this. What did I say? What did I say? Nine minutes. It, it took 40 seconds for that thing to come back up. Now are you convinced it's still go down? Well, like, imagine if, if you saw it melting and you were having FOMO and you jumped into a cell down here. Look at that. You'd be stopped out right now. You'd be shitting yourself. You'd be like, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you had to. you have to have these rules in place for a reason. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm just curious how you manage to make good money, bro. Just being disciplined and being consistent, you know, being disciplined and being consistent, man. Uh, GJ looks like it's going to fly on one minute chart. Uh, yeah, I'm not looking at it on a one minute chart. Would you not trade breakouts in New York session? You can totally trade breakouts in New York session. I just prefer to trade US 30 one minute scalp strategy that I have for myself because that's when I like to trade US 30. Like it's just that's just what I do. But if I could if I wanted to like I could trade the breakout strategy, but I'm not like double dipping like that. You know, like if I'm trading one strategy for that session, that's what I'm looking at. The only reason I would be trading something different is if a, like a, a a swing setup that i had set up and i was waiting for price to trigger triggered while i'm trading that if if that triggered then i would like you know obviously look at it interpret it and see if if it was worth it me getting in and i'd get in but other than that i wouldn't be like oh i'm trading my us 30 scalp strategy and then i'm looking for breakouts on this i'm that it you don't need to do all those things guys you don't need to trade a hundred different pairs. Look, pick one, and then when you're consistent and profitable with that, then add another one to it. But only then, like don't don't trade this and this and this and that, and and you still can't even make a withdrawal. Like you're all over the place. You need to figure out what it takes to get to one, just one, one pair where you're consistent and profitable. 
and then add a different one. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Gold hit sell stop. Yeah, that's. I hope you have a big enough stop. <clears throat> uh, one on one is just relaxing. <laughs> what? Uh, put some respect on his name. Appreciate it. What's up? Uh, know this, but the Lord is speaking. Just saying, yes, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, Banks. Love you for the great help. You're welcome. You're welcome, brother. Thanks. Can you see gold, please? Yeah, I'm on Mon Gold. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you doing this for us. You're welcome, brother. Trade just like me. Look at gold now. This is why we wait for closures. Yup. It wants to reject at 1700, but could melt. Yeah, um, I think that gold is notorious for spiking all over the place and it's doing exactly that so um, this is why you wait for those candle closures the big guns like even numbers man yeah and gj another buy with close above new range high of one six yeah i'm not even looking at gj anymore uh euro cad is beautiful by 30 minutes ago yeah i'm not even looking at euro cad would old TP2 become new TP1 for a breakout now above 161689? I wouldn't be trading the breakout two hours into the session. You know, like I'm I'm done trading London session breakout strategy here in, in the next 35 minutes. Like, you know, I wouldn't you wouldn't just keep trying to trade the breakout. You got to set a time limit on that thing, baby. <clears throat> I think the market will be waiting on NFP. Yeah, NFP, uh, I do not like that. Made 1% today on the new month. Awesome stuff. Yes, sir. Start the new month off right. Start the new month off right. <clears throat> Took beautiful GU buys entry at 930 if you want to review it thanks for your time and your knowledge you're welcome I'm here for it uh, do you know Raja Banks no I do not know Raja Banks I mean I know he has a YouTube channel I've seen the YouTube channel uh, Banks seven days left bro yes sir <clears throat> uh, stop trying to predict price react to it that's one important piece of information that clicked in my psychology to become a better trader yep that is what um, I preach man every single time like I, our job as traders is not to predict price it's to react to it let the market tell you what it's gonna do and then make decisions give me one second guys <clears throat> Yeah, I think there's like a, <clears throat> I think I have maybe like three or four um, challenges that are getting close to the to the end of the time frame or whatever the 30 days or 35 days for the first phase, um, but all of them are in profit. So, like I'll do the retry. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna force any trades <laughs> and then end up losing it. You know, you got, you got to be very careful with the challenge accounts, guys. Like, you know, the rules are in place, like the, the, the rules they have in place are in place for you to lose, not to win. They're in place for you to lose because that's how they make money. They make more money on people losing than they do from the people that win in their profit share, right? <clears throat> they make way more money on the, on the losses. <clears throat> subscribed welcome welcome did you blow up any accounts like what do you mean in my my trading journey hell yeah like many 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 accounts 
Love your content. No complexity. Simplicity at its best. Not just in life and trading too. Appreciate it. You trade Nas? Yeah, I do. Nas 100. <clears throat> uh, took 100% at TP1 by mistake. Left a TP on the original entry. Got lucky to get away with 2%. Nice. Thanks a million for your help. You're welcome. I'm here for it. I think gold looking promising though. Um, yeah, I mean, th just measure it out. Like we have one minute left on this candle. And look at this. This is going to be top of the wick here is 33 pips. And first target is about 31. Oh, shit. Look, it's moving up. Maybe we have a trade here. We got about 40 seconds left on gold. If it closes below the... Oh, you see? You see? Look at it. Plain. I'm not I'm not getting in there. Like, 30 seconds. It needs to move down some. Uh, but it would be a good setup if it, if it moves down some. We got 30 seconds. Let's see what it does. It needs to close below. It needs to close below. And if I take it, I'll take half of my usual risk. Half of my usual risk. Because I already have a win for the day and I don't want to lose those profits but look at it eight seconds left and it's already up so doesn't look like an entry to me nope nope you see that it's probably gonna push back up and test this level anyways uh, I just woke up I lost the GJTP I guess damn really uh oh yeah the the first gj yeah if you just woke up and got on here like yeah you missed that trade bro so the prop firms make more from failed attempts to pass than profit shares Hello, i would assume so man i mean because you understand a lot of people they don't even know how to trade or are consistent and profitable and they're buying these challenge accounts like really the only people, um, like the people that can take advantage of that is the ones that if you are consistent and profitable and know how to trade, like you can take advantage of a prop firm and make some money. I highly encourage that you use your, your payouts to fund your own account, right? <clears throat> um, but like I said, you know, those the amount of people that are winning versus the amount of people that are losing is it just like with trading in, in trading in general, even take prop firms out only 10% of traders are actually making a profit. And you understand, you understand the average, the average profit a month for a great trader. Okay. Average profit for a month for a great trader is 10% return. Just think about that. Think about that because there's a lot of people in here that are, are, are like, man, they're trying to double their account in one, one trading session, <laughs> you know, and then you wonder why you're losing, <laughs> you know, um, while you're blowing your account and all that, you know, just think about that. Um, <clears throat> if they're making 10% in a month and they're great traders, you know, I, I mean, we came, we'll, we'll come in here and knock out. I mean, I've had multiple people in the VIP sharing their results, 8, 10, 12, 16, 20%. You know, <clears throat> I've had phenomenal days where I'm hitting 20, 30%, but that's not, that's not every, that's not every single time, right? Um, you're coming in, taking a percent here, 2%. Sometimes they're nice and it's like three, four, five percent, you know, even when you're doubling up, maybe it's, it's even more, but you know, 20, 30%. But the thing is, is that you can't come into this and try to trade expecting, um, I'm going to double this account or I'm going to hit 20, 30, 40% today. Like I said, let the market decide and you just react to it. Whatever it gives you, thank it and come back another day. The market gives you unlimited opportunities, unlimited opportunities. Okay. So don't try to hit a home run 
you know, on your first go around, on your first day, first trading day, first day of the week, and none of that. Be patient. Be patient. <clears throat> PMI in one minute. Uh, would you take gold so late in session but not GJ? No, I mean, like, it depends if the setup looks good. Like, right now, I'm not, I don't even know what GJ is looking like right now. No, I mean, GJ popped up on this range. Like, this whole range is, is invalid now. Like, you see the range is up here now. And the bottom of it's right here, but these wicks are ugly. These, all these downside wicks, these downside wicks are ugly. And then the top of the range is up here. So really, we got top of range up here. We got room right here, depending on what that that amount is. Um, you know, you would see what it looks like. And then the bottom of the range over here is right here. But the thing is, is this wick, this wick, this wick, this wick, this wick looks ugly. A lot of indecision. So I wouldn't even want to trade a breakout to the downside right there because of all this indecision, you know. <clears throat> if that makes sense. Uh, I'm only interested in gold buys today. Those prop firms make a killing on those fees that people pay. They don't even get to the real trading account. Those valuations are no joke. Yeah, and, and it's like, look, I, I wouldn't say, they're not hard. Like, you can do it, but the mental fortitude it takes to be even extra disciplined because of those rules and understanding the way the numbers play the the role they play within that you know because they have your daily and then you have to calculate oh depending on how much you've made and and uh if it's resetting on the next trading date like there's a lot of little factors you know, and most people don't take everything to account and they just jump in and do whatever they want. And that's why they lose those challenge accounts. But it can, it's totally doable. Like I've passed many challenge accounts and I've passed them for people doing the challenge service. And, you know, I've had people send me, um, you know, pictures of them getting paid out and stuff and thanking me and shit. Like, you know, it's awesome. Like, it's great. Um, and I tell everybody, all of them, I'm like, hey. Take that and fund your account. You need to fund your own account. Because here's the thing. If for whatever reason, you know, you hit that 4%, 5% drawdown on your own personal account, they don't take your all your money away. <laughs> you know, when, when you're trading a funded account, you know, even with the funded account, the rules still apply. You know? Um <clears throat> But the easiest way around that, man, is just reducing your risk. Just reduce your risk. <clears throat> uh, markets look hella volatile today. Might just take the GJ win and call it a day. Yeah, there's and there's a lot of news coming too. Uh, we got about, uh, let's see, 24 minutes left on the stream. 24 minutes. <clears throat> Uh, let's see here. Man, I bought like four challenges before I was profitable and failed. <laughs> fair, fair, but there seems to be a strong sell opportunity for gold. Yeah, I think um, that the higher time frame trend is bearish. Um, but there's news that's going to be hitting for during the New York session and um, it's going to be volatile. It's the first of the month and it's been heading down. So it could like do a quick move or like a pullback if it's looking to really push down. So, you know, really, like I say, you got to wait for price to tell you what to do, you know. Any recommendations of trading books? The only book I like to recommend is Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas. Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas. Because, um, and it has nothing to do with the actual mechanics of trading, but 
the psychology, man. Oh shit, the gold is melting now. I was like, gonna measure this out, but she is melting. And I wouldn't jump into this anything less than right there. And that's just a one to one for the first target. We have multiple targets, but it would need to be at the bare minimum right there to take a, a sell. And even then, it would be risky because it's already two hours into the session. You know, the only thing we got going is that, you know, it's London leading into New York, which will bring in even more volume that crossover when New York is open and London is open is pretty nice but you get a lot of volatility meaning it could spike and um, depending on the news in New York it could trigger a pullback which even though overall direction is still moving to the downside that pullback could just ruin you so just a couple things to think about Thanks for the stream, though. You're a legend. Just started trading, and this is proving to be hella helpful with my analysis engaging interests. Awesome. Well, you're welcome. Welcome and welcome to the show, baby. Welcome to the family. Guys, if you're new here, welcome to Lord Banks FX. I am your host, Lord Banks. I live trade Forex, commodities, and indices. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 12 a.m. Central Standard Time to 4 a.m. Central Standard Time. London session. Live Forex Trading with Lord Banks FX Let's get it, let's get it I just have to drop some of these guys Because Your number one Forex trader for him, so. Lord Banks FX I like to get to use them every now and then, you know <clears throat> I thought 10% is still too high I thought you were going to say 4 to 5 4 to 5 Like gain you're talking about when I was talking about great traders, they return 10% a month. Yeah, but that's like phenomenal performance in the in the trading community. Like if you if you return 10% a month, that's phenomenal. You're doing great. <clears throat> but the pro you see where the problem is, right? Is that understand that a 10% return a month that is a great trader. But most people that jump into this industry are jumping in with you know, a few hundred dollars, a couple thousand dollars, like 10% for them, like 10% of a thousand dollars is a hundred bucks. Making a hundred bucks in a month ain't going to cut it for some, for people. You know what I'm saying? So they get in that phase where they're like, oh, I need to make more. I need to make more. This is not enough. And that's where they fuck up. What lot size would you use on a $10,000 funded account challenge? I use 0 0.10. Is that okay? Honestly, I don't like I focus on percentage. So it would depend on what your rules are, what the drawdown rules are. And, um, you know, am I up for the day? Like, you know, it just really, really varies. Am I being aggressive? Am I running out of time? Like, you know, <clears throat> gold short within 10 minutes, 0 0.5 risk to reward, or 0 0.5 risk percentage. Um, yeah, like I was saying, if, if I take this, I would take it at half the risk, half of my normal risk, right? And my normal risk is like one, 2% if, if the setup is really nice, which this wouldn't, constitute a two percenter but um for me it would be like a one percent and if it's one percent here then i would maybe do half of a percent um, <clears throat> don't rush the process never baby never uh, <clears throat> let's see here oh man i forgot to post on instagram that i was live well at least i got tiktok going we still got about 240 people on the live stream. Hey, thanks for the sub, guys. Thanks for the likes. We're at 12,900 likes on TikTok. 181, just 181 likes on YouTube. We got three over 300 people. We made money today, and I'm and I'm out here spitting all the success nuggets for you guys to keep on winning. And only 181 likes. <clears throat> 
trading in the zone is brilliant. Yeah, man, I, I, I probably listened to that like 20, 20 times on audiobook and, and read it physically like maybe 10, 10 times. Um, you know, even now, like sometimes I just like to put it on in the background and listen. Um, just to remind, you know, like the, the things that the way the mind works when it comes to this industry, right? <clears throat> teaches you a lot of things man and uh, I think that's one of the biggest and the most undervalued thing is is the psychology portion of it <clears throat> uh oh we got one minute left here risk to reward is good it's about a 20 pip stop and uh, 1.76 to the first target I like the price action got 50 seconds it's about a 20 pip stop guys I'm gonna calculate here calculate here real quickly for a 20 pip stop we got about 40 seconds we got about 40 seconds 30 seconds all right uh, 20 seconds left here if price holds below here we can take a sell if price holds below we want it to hold below <clears throat> Got five seconds left here, guys. Three, two, one. Yeah, I'm going to take a sell. Last trade of the session. Taking a sell. Half normal risk. Half of the normal risk. Putting your stops above the previous wick. It's going to be uh, an 18 pip. 18 pip. So what is it? About a 17 pip stop. So our TP1 is going to be right about Hello, motherfucker. right at the bottom of that wick. Perfect. It's going to be our TP1. Going to go ahead and put an alert there. Cross it down. Hello, motherfucker. It's going to be our second trade of the day. Second trade of the day, guys. TP1. <clears throat> This will be our TP2. And then uh, we even have our TP3 down here. If it decides to melt, melt. Currently in profit about three, four pips and she is pushing down, pushing down. I like it, I like it. Who's in this with me? This is going to be the last trade. Take us to 4 a.m. Take us to 4 a.m. <clears throat> Just setting the alerts for the TPs here. Crossing down. All right, baby. All right. This is TP3. If she goes all the way to TP3, that's about 90 pips. Not a bad, not a bad trade, guys. Risking, and that'll be about a 5.3. Is that what it is? About a 5.37 risk to reward. Move this here. So try, I'm trying to get it to where TikTok can see as well. This is bothering me, man. Like I'm gonna have to delete this because it's just annoying seeing that in the way. <clears throat> It's really cluttered honestly I don't have all this like on my when I just trade by myself but I know you guys need to see that I remember guys the numbers you shouldn't be dead set on the numbers you should be focusing on the candlesticks and the areas that it's at the numbers I'm just giving you guys for reference because the thing is is with everyone using different brokers and um, brokers having different liquidity providers and spreads and slippage and all that like there's going to be a variance right there's going to be a little you can the price can vary slightly entry was here at 1702 Move it just a little bit here so we can get that there my tp1 is going to be right here at 
1700, 686, right at that bottom of the wick. There, we are in drawdown just about pip and a half, two pips. Hello, motherfucker. Just being patient like we were with the other one. TP2 at 1698, 68. <clears throat> 8 and TP3 would be the final TP3 down here at 1693 ocean 93 300 boom 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 just being patient guys this is our second trade of the day London session for gold it broke out to the downside just gonna try to take a nice little quick scalp here uh, hit TP1 close majority of the trade and leave a little runner in case it wants to continue to melt Yeah, remember guys, like whenever you're setting your target levels and your stops and whatnot, make sure you're accounting for your spread on your broker. Hello, motherfucker. Like if your broker has like a two pip spread, four pip spread, whatever it may be, you know, account for that. Account for that when you're uh, moving and putting your stops and all that good stuff. 1693. <clears throat> oh, she's pushing up. Hopefully she she pushes back down to melt. Melt, baby, melt. Melt, baby, melt. And gold moves fast, too. She moves fast, fast. <clears throat> Hopefully she just melts, but we're prepared for whatever. We got about eight and a half minutes left on this candle. Currently down about four pips. <clears throat> Yeah, we just uh, took a trade here, guys, on gold. Uh, it did execute our trigger, our strategy here, breakout strategy. It is towards the end of the session, so a little risky, uh, but I do like the movement. I do like that overall direction. It is moving, and it's a breakout into the overall trend, which is to the downside. Um, but like I said, since it's like already two hours into the session, I'm hoping there's we get enough volume to get us to the level that we need to get to to take some profits there. Obviously, if this candle closes back above the red dot, uh, dashed line, I will look to reduce my risk or close the position altogether. All right, but let's just be patient. See what see what happens. We got about seven and a half minutes, guys. Seven and a half minutes. Seven and a half minutes. <clears throat> Come on, baby. Yo, if I get a double win today, like, I want everybody on here, three hundred twenty-five people, to like the stream. We only got 200 people like like the stream. <clears throat> I got more likes on on TikTok, guys. I got 14,200 200 likes. Can you zoom out a little? It's because, man, it sucks doing it on TikTok like this. It's very difficult. <clears throat> Ch 
try to get everything in the screen. Everything in the screen, baby. Everything in the screen. We're up about um, one pip, one and a half pips, two pips. Let her, let her come down, baby. We've got six and a half minutes. Six and a half minutes. Don't do that, this guy. This guy said, if we win this trade, Lord Banks, I would personally make 200 fake accounts just to like the stream. No, nah, man, that, that, that'll like um, mess with the algorithm and YouTube will start hating me and stuff. So don't do that. I'd say drink some more Red Bull. <laughs> what? Uh, does the close of the four hour not concern you? No, I'm not. I'm not trading on the four hour, bro. I'd like a hundred times if I could. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, guys, if you're new here, make sure you're jumping in the free Telegram, jumping in the free Discord, guys. You know, I'm active in there, sending out updates. I sent out one freebie trade a week to um, the free Telegram. And uh, today is the first day that we I've changed the VIP offering, what I used to have, and I've broke it out into three different groups. So, you know, it's more affordable for you guys if you just want signals, if you're just interested in the New York live sessions, or if you just want, you know, chart analysis, um, any one of those things you can choose. If you want all of them, obviously, you know, you can join the VIP. The VIP is, uh, the price is higher than what it was yesterday. Um, you know, I let you guys know quite a few times yesterday and the times before that it was going to be changing so <clears throat> but if you were already in the vip you don't have to worry about none of that you already are good to go and um, you have access to to all of it <clears throat> appreciate it appreciate it thanks for the love guys thanks for the love thanks for liking the stream thanks for sharing the stream you guys are awesome and we're like at 500 people on here on on <laughs> TikTok and like 300 on YouTube. Just straight killing it. Straight, straight killing it. Let's have a phenomenal month. Let's make September like a record-breaking month. How about that? We're up about three pips here on gold. Got about three minutes and 45 seconds left on this candle. What we want to see is... We want to see this candle close below, um, you know, with that bearish momentum, right? <clears throat> Which is it's giving us a nice setup here. It's four and a half pips in profit. About four and a half pips, five pips in profit. Got about three minutes and 20 seconds left on the candle here, on this 15 minute candle. <clears throat> Let it keep moving and grooving, baby. Moving and grooving. Uh, yeah, the news. We don't have news till 7.30 a.m., which should be fine. Should be fine. First of the month. Going to take two W's back to back on the live on London. And then I'm going to go on New York and kill it for US 30. Kill it for US 30. VIP's been eaten like they're stuffed. Hell of a month, hell of a month. <clears throat> Hello, motherfucker. Uh, let's see here. We win this trade. Oh, I already read that. Uh, loving how you've taught me how to enter trades instant improvement on my win rate awesome they don't call you banks for no reason exactly baby now you know why now you know why <laughs> lord banks a goat appreciate it how can we get lbf Beck shirt um they, they will be available on the website like the website has like a lot of little things i'm trying to fix and improve on um but i will have the custom um trading journals that I talk about and how I use like how I document my um, 
like trades and stuff because I don't only I know a lot of people just focus on oh I took this trade this day this pair this was the entry you know win or lose and that's it like you know I go into like the psychology side of things and um, and really like journal that stuff out and that's one of the reasons why I don't share my my trading journal because like it's kind of like uh, my therapist and <laughs> I wouldn't just like oh here's my um, inner thoughts and how I'm feeling about things and personal things going on in my life um, it's kind of exposing and um, private you know <laughs> like uh, but anyways, I, I add that kind of commentary within my trading journal and uh, it helps me formulate when I review at the end of the week because I not, not only review my losses, but I review my, my wins because in my wins, you know, there's still opportunity to improve, right? Like, could I, ha could I have held on longer? Could I, could I have had a better entry? You know, like all those things you want to, you want to review, so... I, I not only review uh, my L's, I review my, my wins. So I do that um, on Fridays because I don't trade on Fridays. I don't trade Mondays or Fridays. Um, I'll do that on Friday. And, um, you know, it helps me really get a grasp of, uh, you know, that those micro improvements that you may you think may not make a difference make the biggest of differences, right? A lot of people don't get that or understand that or believe that. And, you know, that kind of stuff is is what causes people to, you know, ignore the details. And, you know, in this game, it's about the details, the little things. Do the little things consistently. Do them with discipline. Do them exactly as they should be done every single time. And you'll see the results you want and if you're not getting those results when you're reviewing your trading journal you're gonna see where you can make the tweaks right one of the things that um, I had done I think what was it back in May like right before I went on that massive win streak that ended up landing me on uh, trading nuts uh, podcast to do the interview with him um, I cut out Mondays and Fridays. The reason I cut it out was because after reviewing my trading journal, come to find out about 80 to 90% of my L's were coming on Mondays and Fridays. And Mondays and Fridays is historically like no trade days, low volume, start of the week, like markets are adjusting. Oh, she's coming up to hit our stopwatch. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Come on, baby. Don't do it. She's close. She's close. Uh, I'm still in it. Uh, <clears throat> this is why I said, yeah, she hit my stop. This is why I told you guys, hey, use half the risk. Use half the risk. Yeah, we got stopped out on this one. 17 pips. <clears throat> it's all good. It's all good. Still profitable for the day. Use half the risk. Um, and that's that's another part of the discipline stuff, you know. That, that's the L on this one. And honestly, like, it's probably just capturing some volume because, like, there's no weight to the downside. So she's probably going to come in. Anyways, um, <clears throat> yeah, I forgot what I was talking about because I got carried away with this trade. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, shirts and journals will be available soon on the website. Uh, do you make more trading in New York or London? Um, definitely New York. Definitely New York. Because in New York, I trade US 30. US 30 is a, I mean... If you traded indices before, you know how to trade indices. Like, if if you know how to trade indices and you've traded indices before, you know, like the amount that it moves. Like we make hundreds, if not thousands, of pips, <laughs> right? Like, it's crazy. Hmm. 
<clears throat> Melt time banks one to one. <clears throat> Bro, this is the calmest trading live stream I've been on. I appreciate it, man. You know, like uh, I think that it's important to um, to maintain your emotion, uh, win or loss. You know, keep stay the same, win or loss, stay the same. Just because um, a lot of times people don't they they get really way too excited when they're winning and that causes them when they lose they they come crashing right so don't be that don't be that person um because that will cause even more issues even more issues anyways um it is 4 a.m guys already we took one win one l um, thankfully we did have our normal risk here and we're still profitable with our one win on GJ. And this was the last trading day of the week. I don't trade on Fridays, so I won't be on till next week, Tuesday. Um, same time, same place. If you're in my VIP or in my New York live streams, I am streaming today, New York session. So I will be on and I'll send the link out. Here in about um, two, three hours, yeah, like 6.30, 7 a.m. my time. So in about two and a half, three hours or so. <clears throat> Anyways, um, I'm done for the day. And um, if you're not in my VIP or my New York, I'll see you guys next week on Tuesday. Um, we'll be doing analysis on Sunday uh, for those that are in my free telegram or my free discord i'll send the zoom link out there so you guys can join that and um and join the weekly analysis all right guys much love hey thanks so much for the subs thanks so much for the likes thanks for sharing i will see you guys next week peace trading session in the box executing analysis strategy and discipline thank you for joining us for this live trading session with lord banks subscribe and turn on alerts so you don't miss the next lord banks live trading session